Hello, and welcome to this special edition of Making Anime 5.1. We're going to talk a little bit about world building today, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek at concept art for the episode 3 of the Gridscan Scout Eve anime web series, which is currently in pre-production. We're currently working on episode number two, which should be out in the next month or so, and I wanted to give you an update about that, as well as give you five tips that help me when I am world building. So, I'm your host, Natsu Uesugi. I am a science fiction and cyberpunk writer, and we're going to let's get into it. So, Today, I want to talk a little bit about world building. What is it? It is creating the environment, the political structures, the belief systems, the world, even the characters, the clothing, the language, how people interact, social structures, pretty much everything, including technology and culture, as well as religion. So that's world building, creating your world, bringing it to life, and creating something that is the environment that the characters in your story will exist in. So let's get started with this concept art from episode three. So here you can see a black and white page with red. So this is actually a page in volume three of the Grid Scan Scout Remnant manga. This is from chapter six. As you can see here, you've got a high-tech area. This is actually Astor Street in the Central Square in the Echelon Slums. And you do have those hovering screens um, there with the news feed do. That's one of the news feed is always on the air. It never goes off the air, even in a nuclear war, even if they have to broadcast Morse code with radio waves on vacuum tubes, the news feed will never go off the air. Some of the screens have information about radiation, fallout warnings, as well as a lockdown in progress. And you can kind of get an idea of what the environment looks like. So, I'm glad I got to share that with you. So let's get started on our five tips for world building. So tip number one is know your story. So that's one of the key things. So you don't want to analysis paralysis yourself into world building and never write or draw or start working on your story. But you do need to understand the story and the characters and the universe that you're creating in. Are you writing a fantasy story, cyberpunk, space opera? You need to understand how the story works. And so if you're at the very beginning, at least have an outline and understand not even your point of view, but who are your main characters. That is key. You need to know what you're writing about. The second rule is the world rules. What are the rules of the world? So I'll give you an example. We have psychics and radiation sickness in grid scan because there was a nuclear war. One of the psychics in his psi conditioning, it affected his voice. His name is Blue. He's a clandestine psychic operative. Blue does not talk. He uses psychic sending, is what it's called, for all his communication, and he never talks. So if all of a sudden in the story, Blue is talking, you either know something's wrong or the writer screwed up because they're violating their rules. And so you always need to stick to the rules, whatever they are, you can create them, but that is key to the story. So let's move on to rule number three, belief systems. So if you create political structures or propaganda or government, corporations, or even religions in your story, do your characters worship a specific belief. Do they have gods? Are they atheists? Do they believe in political parties? Are they terrorists? Are, you know, they pacifists? That's kind of a belief system that affects how people talk, how they interact, how they look at technology, how they look at each other, relationships, communication, and pretty much everyday items. Are they vegan and they don't eat meat? Well, then that may be a belief tied to something else. So the fourth item is your environment. So if you're writing a climate change 
story. And there's floods and fires and volcanoes and, I don't know, meteorites that are affecting the environment and how people interact. Is it always raining? Know the environment. It is always good to have a map and know where things are. Um, are there different continents? Are there space colonies? Are there undersea cities? All those things it's important to know. And it's important to know if there are things, like for example in grid scan, there was a nuclear war, so there's radiation in the air, that affects the environment, affects the food system. For example, milk will always be toxic because it's basically, you know, from the radiation and the fallout. And so that is something that is key. The fifth rule we have is social cues. How do people interact? So in our uh, grid scan system, there is actually a hacker guild called the Jester Hacker Guild, and they have a statement, some slang terms that the hackers use. But one of these statements is, Hackers unite, hack to, you're dead. And it kind of looks at technology as a religion, and that is important, and that affects how people interact and how they speak with each other. So that is key to understanding the social relationships. So, if these tips helped you, and you like what you see, like and subscribe, and stick around for the next episode of Making Anime.